Welcome to this stateless code video. And today we're going to do a little bit of a departure from what we usually do, which is making programming videos to uh, help with the driver install of the new AMD Radeon 9000 series graphics card on an Ubuntu 24.04 system. So this is on a new computer that I built kind of late February, 2025. It's now March 7th, 2025. Uh, I went and got a um, Reaper 9070 at MSRP yesterday uh, on launch day. So I had kind of before that just been holding over my NVIDIA 1060 that I've had for years. Uh, while waiting for something reasonably priced and reasonably modern to come out and was able to get a uh, 9070 yesterday. The XTs were sold out at uh, Micro Center and there wasn't much available online. So this is what we wound up getting, but it's a huge upgrade over what we had, assuming that I can correctly configure it for Linux. I've already done this in Windows, so I, I dual boot Windows and Linux and um, Windows was fairly self-explanatory. You go to the drivers, you install the drivers. Um, it launches and lets you install Adrenaline, and that was um, not involved enough to warrant an instructional video. But uh, Linux is a little bit different, especially for if you're not familiar with it or if you've, like me, been using NVIDIA cards for years and are switching to an AMD card for the first time. So we're going to go to the AM AMD site here where it has uh, Linux drivers for AMD Radeon graphics. You'll choose your specific flavor of Linux. In my case, it's Ubuntu x86-64. And you can see that they have drivers for 2404, which is the current long-term long-term support version of Ubuntu as of March 2025, and then also for 2204, which is the previous long-term support version of that. So I'm going to click download here. And you can see that happen fairly quickly. And it's a dot deb package here. So uh, first, I'm also going to show the current state of things. So um, show the video information. So it just says um, kind of AMD VGA compatible controller. Uh, there, there's not like it's not recognizing the the 9070 as 9070. Uh, this uh, Raphael thing is the onboard graphics from my processor, which is a um, Ryzen 9 7950X. So, uh, but we want the actual display drivers for this card to register. So we're going to go to the downloads directory where that occurred. Uh, we're going to run a An app to update, see if we have anything that needs to be installed. All right, automatically installed, no longer required. So I think we're fine here. Hit clear. And now we're going to or in the downloads directory, right? Yep. So um, we're going to do a sudo apt install dash f to make sure we get our dependencies, and then the a AMD uh, GPU install app, which is a um, a Debian package. So we'll do that. Let's see here be accessed as apt. I think it's succeeded. It's just 
So let's see what we've got now. This gives us the help values here. Uh, so one of the things that you're going to maybe think is, hey, I installed the package. I'm going to reboot my system and the drivers are going to work. But um, spoiler alert, this isn't the actual drivers we just installed. You notice it, it went very quick. It's the install package for them. So uh, th this isn't intuitive in the driver download situation here. Uh, it doesn't, it says install the drivers. And so you install the package and you think you're done, but you're not. You have to kind of go down further and uh, look for the, uh, where is the, you have to click driver details and then installation instructions. So it's hit. <laughs> this isn't good user interface design if you're most of our other stuff is web development. So you, you don't want to have something essential hidden behind a collapsed thing. And you have to go in here and it gives you examples on how to. Uh, go with all the various install things. And then uh, the, the main thing that we'll have here is um, the use cases you'll need here. So um, I'm, I'm just gonna run this. I've, I've read through the documentation. I think this will give me what I need. I might need to perform this as sudo. We'll find out. So this is giving us, uh, um, when you do the, specifically the uh, use case graphics, that essentially gives you all the open source AMD drivers there, as well as their dependencies. So um, we're going to hit yes on this. All right, so that install has completed. As far as I can tell, there weren't any, um, errors or failures here. Um, there is in the documents here, it's a, it's several pages in, uh, it does say that you ought to do a, um, user mod command to make sure that your, uh, your username has both the render and video groups associated with it. So I'm going to do that for my own user and then uh, I've got the stateless code user and then my personal user, which has a username of Michael. So we'll uh, try to do both of those and make sure that we're good to go here. So sudo user mod, we're gonna add the group render. this code, we'll move that back over here so you can see it. Do the same thing for video. And then I'll do the same thing for both of those for the other user on this computer, which is Michael. All right, so we'll hit clear here and we'll try the video. This might require a reboot to take place. And I, I think it does. So I'll, I'll reboot and come back and see if our uh, driver life is doing any better now. All right, so we're back after the reboot. Uh, as you may notice, I was able to scale the display uh, uh, to a more reasonable size for the viewer, which I couldn't do before. It was so laggy that I couldn't record or like trying to move windows across the screen 
was not viable. Uh, we also, uh, if you look now, this is settings. So if you hit like your super key and uh, type in settings, this will bring you to uh, what you have here. And then you can go to about and then system details. You can see now in the graphics, it has recognized the AMD Radeon RX 9070, which it had not done before. It was just uh, AMD Radeon graphics. So uh, that, that is recognized by our operating system now correctly with these drivers installed. There's one more use case that I want to make you aware of. So in my example right now, I'm recording a video. So for these, uh, for AMD cards, we're going to hit, um, use the command AMD GPU install dash dash list use case. And there are two more that I want to install here. So there's, um, AMF, which is a, it's a closed source multiple multimedia library. So if you have a situation where you're whatever, morally opposed to closed source or whatever, then you wouldn't do this, but uh, it'll be helpful for me because it allows more encoding options with OBS um, or whatever recording you're using in order to do that. So we're going to add that use case and we're also going to add the multimedia use case. If you are trying to do things related to, I think like there are some machine learning um, libraries you can add in um, and, and some other things. So you can um, use that list use case to find out what things are relevant to you and it will add, uh, you, you can then um, do the similar um, use cases. Um, um, use case dash here, you can see we, we already used a comma separated list, so you can do that again, I'm assuming. We'll find out. AMF. I'll probably have to, since it's um, closed source, I'll probably have to accept a um, usage uh, agreement thing here. And speak of the devil. Don't necessarily agree with it, but I'm willing to be to accept it. Uh, so, it looks like there were only 23 megabytes worth of additional stuff. Um, the graphics may have included multimedia in it, uh, but that provides that additional. Hopefully, I'll have more encoding options now when I record my videos. One more thing I'm going to do here is I got fussed at when I uh, one of the install one of the shutdowns in the the post kind of getting ready to uh, power off the computer screens, noting that we still have Nvidia drivers installed here. So if you're in the situation like me where you're switching from Nvidia to AMD, we want to get rid of those. NVIDIA drivers. So we're going to do a sudo apt purge NVIDIA star and this gets rid of all of the now unnecessary NVIDIA drivers on the system. So that pretty much does it here. Um, we've got graphics up and running. Uh, if you wanted to, you could potentially um, go and run a Geekbench or something like that to ensure that everything's uh, working. You could try your, your favorite game. Um, if anybody's had any other 
results or weirdness or anything like that, or a better way of doing this. So I'm kind of learning as I go here. Uh, I read a manual and executed the instructions. So uh, if you have techniques or anything like that, that work better for you, feel free to hit it up in the comments um, so that the other viewers can learn from it. And if this was valuable to you, please hit us with a like and a subscribe uh, and be on the lookout for more videos from us. Most of them, as I said earlier, are related to computer programming, but I do occasionally do the um, do system setup videos or other things like that. So um, if it's valuable to you, hit the subscribe, tell your friends, um, tell your neighbors, tell your enemies, even if you love your enemies, tell them about stateless code, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft. Stateless Code